Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add clips to your video edits on ShareFactory using your PlayStation 5. So let's go to ShareFactory right now. Then we can go to the video editor on top and go to New Project right here and select this. Then you can choose your pack. It doesn't matter what you choose. Just uncheck mark all these items on the top. Scroll on down to your gameplay and then check mark the gameplay you want. So all you have to do is check mark the gameplay and then press square and you can add it to your project, name the project, whatever you want. For me, I'm not going to name it because I'm not going to save this. So let's go to continue anyways. Now that we removed all the intros and outros before they won't show up under our game time or our, our screenshot right here. So what we could do now is press R2 and we can play our gameplay and we can watch it and then we can press X and then we can go to add clip right here if we want to add additional clips. So here's me um, just uh, recording some videos and then press square and we can add this to our timeline. So I'm just talking yada 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 and then it goes to this gameplay and then we can press X and we can go to add clip again. And uh, we can add some gameplay or if you recorded with the camera before, you can add this back to the timeline as well. So you can go to me talking, gameplay, and then here's me talking once again. So it's very easy to add clips to your timeline in Share Factory. All you have to do is press X. Now you can also like edit these by pressing square on it. So if I go to this, I can go to playback, time bender, which is like uh, you can fast forward it or slow it down, whatever. Add overlays, you can pan and zoom. So if I only want to zoom in on one section of the screen, I could do that right here. That's 300%. I can change the clip volume. I use this a lot. I split the clip. So I can split it right here, here, and then here, and then I can go and delete like some of these sections here by pressing square. If I didn't want that on my screen anymore. So split clip is very powerful. If you're making like a montage or something like that, you're going to be using that feature a lot. So remember that split clip. So let's go back to edit by pressing square. We can move the clips. We can delete the clips, clone them, replace them. So let's go to move and we can move this to the front. And then we can move this one right here. Let's go to edit by pressing square. Go to move clip right here. So let's go to me talking and then go to edit and let's try a time bender. And then we can do one eighth speed or we can do eight times speed. So let's go to four times speed. Just look at this, see what it looks like. And then, I can... and then here's me talking really fast, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And looks good, right? Now, another thing that you can do is press up on the D-pad when you're under PlayStation. And this will allow you to see more of the gameplay, like it'll stretch it out. So if you have like commentary on here, you can fine tune the areas of the ups and downs in your voice or in the music. You just want to add a little bit of music on there and just cut out the section that you wanted. Maybe there's a high or a low or a bass drop or something like that. But this gives you a lot of different options under here when you're just editing your clips or adding your clips. So I like doing the pan zoom as well. And then also make sure you have the clip volume set up at 12. So a lot of times I go to apply all. So uh, maybe I need like 120% or like that. And then go to apply all and then press X to confirm. So this is going to increase the volume on all the clips. And then you should be good to go. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did? Leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more technical videos coming up next on your six tech. I have like part of my head cut off. Now I'll press X to stop and I can go on over to a recent gameplay right here.